All right, guys, welcome back to more. Let's play uh, Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. We're currently in Crash Bandicoot 1. Oh, I see the other island in the distance. That's pretty cool. Uh, so upstream, and then we have Papu Papu, and then Papu Papu's level branches off over there towards the screen to a new level. So that'll be... Uh, that'll be an interesting... Uh, new level that I've never uh, seen, never played. So, I'm excited for that, honestly. Kind of want to just get through this level just to see what... Oh, wow. Look at this water. That's beautiful. Oh. Hello, Leaf. It's been a long time. Oh, there's those deadly fish. <laughs> they do bite. Oh, wow. Look at that waterfall. That is beautiful. Now we got the piranha plants. All right, there we go. That's our second Tana token. Nope, you're fine. We're going to take our nice sweet time with this. I mean, there's no rush. Game only came out today. Gonna have some fun with it. Oh, they changed it from pure blue to like a yellow blue. Interesting. All right, and then there's the clear gem path that we can't take. And they put a checkpoint right next to it too. And I do like how they put the bonus round platform right next to where the, oh my God. <sighs> right next to where the, um, last bonus token is that way you're not having to search for the bonus round platform god i can't the later levels of this is going to be so brutal all right do that good good keep stealing her away from me i don't like that we're at 20 lives already which is nice Three boxes left, and I think those boxes are actually the bonus boxes. Or gem path boxes. I got hit on that? Really? Whatever. I don't I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know. I missed three boxes. But we have our first boss fight now. Papu Papu, which should be very easy. Because he does the spin around, jump on his head thing. But then we have another weapon. Or another level that's new. Because, let's see. Level 7 is Rolling Stone. But then this one, right to uh, Crash's right. We have no clue. So let's go fight Papu Papu. And let's see. Body blows don't hurt him. Okay, well. Stop giving me so many hints. Wow, look at him. Nice little fire tiki thing. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. Oh wow, he has five hits now. That's ridiculous. All right, there we go. Okay. So they made him a little harder by having to uh, jump his uh, hit him more, <laughs> I guess. There we go. <laughs> Now just one more. There's his butt. And there we go. We did it. Papu popped. <laughs> Alright. So that was beating Papu Papu, clearly. So... Does it allow me to choose? Do I have to come back to that one specifically to get that level? No, it allows me to choose. Rolling Stones. No, no, no. Coco's Time Machine. Yeah, I want to see this. Yes, I want her to join the adventure. Plus R2 to swap to Coco. 
That's freaking cool. Maybe Koku, mi Koku, maybe Koku, Koko runs faster. Okay, so we want 28 seconds. Let's swap to Koko. Let's get her some uh, old time uh, Crash Bandicoot levels. I think I'm going to go through the rest of the game now since I have Coco and only play as Coco. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. <laughs> Alright, so she spins. She jumps. Uh, she doesn't do anything else. I don't know if she is faster or not. Uh, that's not my face. I'm Coco now. Although getting in, uh, cause, oh, come on. How does that never work? Whatever. Not a, I'm not really going to be bothered by it. There we go. This is the first time that we've gotten to play as Coco. I think you play as her in Twin Sanity. Um... But, I mean, the first time she was fully playable was on the PS2 Wrath of Cortex. But now you get to play as her. Oh, I did get it. Oh, that's going to be extremely close. No, I screwed it up. Although I did improve my time, so that's nice. Why? I keep wanting to shift instead of press done. No, I don't want to restart. Well, I figured we'd try for that play with Coco. So I think this is going to be uh, Coco Bandicoot now. And we're just going to play as her. And she's going to rescue Tana. Which is going to make it a little interesting. Alright. Well. Alright. So now. Let's see. It doesn't seem like there's any other level that is on the first island that may be a branch off. Although I should check out Coco's time machine again and see if that's an actual level. Or if it's just allowing Coco to be here. Unlock a new path by earning the blue gem elsewhere. I don't remember what what level the blue gem is in. Die. Yeah, look at this. 87 boxes for this level. But granted, they gave us 12 right off the bat. <gasps> this is the Bria level. Oh, okay. So we have to... We have to try and uh, get the Brio token. So let's see. It's in this. Nice. There we go. We got a Brio token. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, we lose the tokens too. Okay. No, we don't. No holds barred. Okay, what is that? Defeat five enemies with Coco's spin. Wait, was that a gold? Really? <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Defeat Ripperoo. Spin away an extra life. Okay, so I need to do that. Wow, there are not that many. Oh, no. Defeat Qua. Defeat. Discover a gem path after earning a color gem. Five relics. Embryo and Cortex. 99 lives. 13 gems. 10 relics. Gold or better. 26 relics. Gold or better. Okay. So we'll spin away the next extra life that we see. There might be a spin away in Aku Aku Mask, I just realized, so we might want to do that. Yeah, so there's an extra life right up here. Let's get that trophy. There we go. I meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, I want that checkpoint. Boom. Love that. Okay, so now it's this. Great. Now, if I remember correctly, Brio's back left. Yeah. Life in the middle. And then I think it's just Wump of Fruit on the edges. So we'll just ignore those. Did it. That should have killed more boxes. Huh. Maybe I'm just stupid. All right. I'll take a checkpoint, though. 
The next loose Aku Aku mask I see, I'm going to spin away. If that's even possible. I don't know if it is or not. Alright, I'll take some of that. Well, there is an Aku Aku mask right there. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going to get invincibility, so... Alright. No? Nope, it's an automatic pickup. I can't spin that away. So, I mean, it would have been a good try. Alright, so here's the Tana Bandicoot bonus round. Bonus! Yeah, this is part of... These are some of the levels that are going to be annoying. Because you have these <laughs> bridges of boxes that you have to destroy. I want that. Alright, there we go. She's like, yay, we're going to get saved. Nope. <laughs> All right, so now there's the blue gem. All right, this is not where the Brio token normally is. Brio token's normally at the end of the level. Whatever. Oh, you do have to beat these now. But now you can retry them as often as you want, so that's not that bad. All right. Oh, I did it. All right, there we go. I don't know why I tried doing that, but because I'm not going to get the gem anyway. Yeah, normally it's up here. Normally the Brio token is this one right here, if I remember correctly. All right, so six boxes in the extra area. That's all right. <laughs> she uses her laptop or her... Nope, that's a laptop, yeah. She uses her laptop to protect from the, <laughs> from the crates. Oh, that's fun. All right. If I can go through every game from here on out as Coco, I'm going to do it. Nope. Down. No, I don't want to leave her there. Are you crazy? She's awesome. Especially since we're going to go hog wild with her in the next video. So, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you back here for more Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Take care.